Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'd like to tell you about this new Ironheart 1301 Thermal in, of course, black. Let's do it. Okay, so fresh in from Iron Shop Provisions, this is my first Ironheart Thermal. Now, I don't know how good a thermal really needs to be for most people, but at this point I'm pretty sure this product is about as good as it possibly gets. Ironheart makes heavy duty, bordering on overbuilt, and more often than not boxy stuff, and they do it really, really well, and that's their whole aesthetic. But their thermals, to my surprise, are pretty slim fitting, and at least the 1301 just kind of feels right. Made in Japan with a really cool three dimensional thermal pattern, and a bunch of chain stitch runoffs if you're into that sort of thing. Thermals are really versatile, so this will work in a variety of situations for most people, but these are actually made to fit under your Ironheart tops. This is an XL. I was able to get this to fit under my CPO in double XL pretty comfortably. They stretch to accommodate your body in a way you're really going to appreciate in those layering months. Also, if you're just trying to put out the swole vibe and wear this on its own, looks pretty good for that too. These do have a logo here, which normally I don't like logos that much, but for some reason, can't quite put my finger on it. Doesn't really bother me. $150 for a thermal shirt. So the question really does become, do you need a $150 thermal? I guess that's a personal decision. Is it worth it? For the vast majority of people, that might be kind of a tough sell. But if you're watching YouTube videos on Ironheart stuff, you're almost certainly going to be someone who digs this a lot. Also, to that point, I really respect the idea of having a scenario where you can pay $150 and really get what's arguably the best you could possibly buy of a specific article of clothing, which I feel is what we're looking at here. Ratings wise, I'm actually going to go with an A on this one, and the reason is I can see myself recommending this to a broader spectrum of people out there. Maybe not everyone, but more than most when it comes to stuff that I talk about on this channel, and it's flawlessly executed. So people who aren't normally into the Ironheart aesthetic also could pick this up, and it'll work pretty well for them. Holding this right now, the temptation is real to just buy another one, and to be honest, I kinda want to. Actually, I should probably get three more, because I want at least one more in black. Oh wait, I have like bills and responsibilities and life and all that stuff, so maybe I'll hold off on that, but you get what I'm saying. Alright, that's all I got on this one. Feel free to speak your mind in the comments as usual. Until next time, peace my dudes.